Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are the West African Podcast. And I'm Ayana, Kofi's wife. And I'm Kofi, Ayana's husband. <laughs> and we are corny. We are a corny couple. Why are you saying that we're corny? But it's a good thing. You know, corny people are oh, really like the lit people. No, corny I know. people really be the ones that's doing it. So we are the corny couple because. Because why? I don't know. Anyway, this is um, part two from our last video about finding love in Ghana. Is is it possible? So where we left off in the last video, we talked about how we met for um, the first eight days on tour in Ghana. Kofi was our lovely tour guide for eight days and he was amazing, still is amazing. And I think where we kind of left off is so Go watch the last video if you want to know how we met. This one is about how after we met, I'm back in the U.S. And then, like, how did we, like, start our relationship? Yeah. How did we even start? Like, we were talking. You called me once. You texted me. Yeah. The first time. And I responded, like, oh, hey. And, you know, you could ask and ask her put some questions about me and I was trying to clarify that you like, Well, I heard this about you and I was oh, like, yeah. Well, that's not true. <laughs> so, um so there were a couple things. We were just like considering like, you know, what he the rumor he heard about me, plus the fact that he lived in Ghana and I lived in the US and we were just like when we first talked, I don't even what was our we were just kinda getting to know each other, ask people questions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so like that was that. more yeah. more like that. We were arguing, not arguing, but we used to about Jesus. Oh, yeah. about Jesus. So he would like talk about the Bible. Yeah, so as he was saying we used to argue about Jesus. What what was our arguments about about Jesus? Oh, um I think this was more based on that why Jesus kind of thing. So I think oh. you asked me that about why Jesus and this and I think I was trying to prove the point that if Africa say Jesus, obviously, like Africans might use picture of Jesus as white. They portray by it's white Jesus, but in their minds, they don't they don't know the magnitude that that person is a white person. They don't think. I think we used to argue like that. Yeah. I just want to clarify that yeah, they might yeah. use the picture, but it's not think... a white person. Like they don't. Of course, they know that it's a white person there, but they don't get to that magnitude or to that extent because they are more focused on the spirit aspects. So we find the picture will be there, but not that they are praying to the picture. They just pray, mention Jesus' name and pray to the spirit. And so I was just trying to explain that kind of things. Yeah, because I had a lot of questions while I was here. I'm like, why are all the white Jesuses yeah. everywhere? So that was my time to ask some like questions that I couldn't ask on a yeah. tour. Like, why are all the white Jesuses? Why this? Why yeah. that? So it looks more like that. Yeah. yeah. So we were just kind of talk about you know the Bible and and Not all that Pan African stuff and Pan African yeah. stuff yeah, I, yeah. and. And we really start talking about our passion. Like he yeah, loved children, sure. I love children. Yeah. We start talking about the future. Um, just like, you know, and I used to tell him like I used to have all these dreams of me taking students to Africa. Like even maybe like when I first became a teacher, right? I remember I would like have these dreams and like every time I would meet somebody a person, you know, you talk about them. It's like, oh, well, what's your your dream? What do you want to do? And I'm like, my life dream is to take youth from U.S. to 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 Africa. And so I was telling him that, and he basically was like, well, I can make that happen. <laughs> he said he can make that happen. I was yeah. like, <laughs> so he was speaking my language. He was telling me he can make my dreams come true. And guess what? He has not failed yet. But I think that's kind of how it started because we had yeah. so much in common, like our yeah. future, our alignment, like what we wanted to build. It was just in alignment. So I was just like, wow, like this is nice. This is nice to talk to somebody who get like your dreams and, and tell you like, I'm going to make your dreams come true. And I'm like, no, you're not like, I don't, you know, I'm from Philly and I'm an American. I'm like, mm, I don't believe them. I was like, <laughs> whatever whatever so then like how did and then so from there what happened we started bb needle we so that's when we started our tour company yeah. because how did we even start a tour company like so much happened this was like yeah. february so much happened in a month we started a yeah. tour company in a month what happened how did it happen so oh so i think it was more like it was more like, I, I think I thought Ashanti Toss was kind of already there. Oh, because you had his own. Yeah, already have a talk company. company. I thought yeah. Ashanti Toss. So I was like, 
maybe uh, we realized that some of our visions aligned. So we were like maybe, so we started writing, um, I was I was, I was was having like the, how do you call it, the business plan in my head, but it wasn't on yeah, paper. Yeah, paper, so we so kind of came together to write the business, business plan. plan. So later on yeah. we were like, okay, then maybe the name of Russian to us, it sounds a little bit kind of, so let's find a word that, that represents both vision. of us, yeah. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it comes up with African chart and it is more like the Beniba, so it yeah. was more like, we rebrand, not rebrand, but we rebrand Afresh and the thoughts will be new battles, which let's to align to our vision, together. yeah. Yeah, so and then we are will be hosting students here soon, and yes. we're gonna be hosting a few youth groups, so yes, yeah, so like so we started this, yeah, so I think from the Bibiniba, we were still talking about each other, but as I said, initially we we're kind of skeptical because she is 5,000 miles away. I'm yeah. also in Ghana, but we we're still talking through. But I think with yeah. prayers and other, so well, I'm, I'm a, I mean, you don't want me to say the part you always want to avoid that part. What part you can say? Oh, okay, you, you can. Uh, so that's what happened. So, uh, you can say that part, yeah. So, into like a month of us like talking <laughs> and getting to know each other, thinking that we were about to build this vision together. Y'all boy, y'all friend, y'all man, y'all copy dumped me. <laughs> he, no, bro- dump he broke up with me. We y'all. just we just wanted he to broke have a space. Up with me. We just wanted to have a space to 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 we we were like things were moving too fast. Right? Yeah, they were moving Things were moving fast because just imagine me thinning December straight to February, like two. Yeah. So we just have to have a space, but she think I dump her. This is what he said. He told me, I'm not, I'm not going gonna, gonna to put him out there like that. But you he said see. something that hurt my feelings. And I was like, and I wasn't even expecting to like meet anybody. And I'm like, in this month, like I'm thinking, you know, mm-hmm. this is my dream. This is what I prayed for. And it dumped me. Like I was devastated, y'all. I was devastated. So anyway, I blocked him. <laughs> oh, what's that? So he would email me and he would email me scriptures and then I would like email him stuff. We still, and we still had a, a group coming before COVID. This is before COVID. So we had to talk about like the tour business stuff. So he would email me like scriptures and I would email him update and we would talk like, like we would talk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We would talk, but like I did block him on WhatsApp. I was like, okay. I ain't never get dumped before. Like, how you dumping me? I didn't dump you. <laughs> like, we were, so the fact was like, um, we we're moving too fast, so we wanted to have a little break. But she said, I dumped her. I mean, we we wasn't going together no more. <laughs> so we wanted to have a break for ourselves and have more reflection on our personal life to see. Of course, we realized that our, our visions were aligned. But, but we, we just wanted to make to sure, know that yeah. We just wanted to be yeah. sure and extra sure that are we on the right line. So yeah. I think uh, for her. No, he's be, right. Um, go ahead. Yeah, so giving ourselves some space, we just spending more time on our self reflection and praying. I think uh, we realized that, yeah, we realized that, I mean, we are made for each other and we realized that together we can accomplish. God vision for both of us, yeah. So I think we came back together stronger and stronger and stronger, loving, like caring, affectionate, sweetie. It was so, it was amazing, yeah. And it was flowing, and it's still flowing, yeah. Yeah, I think that's true. I think it was needed. I think we did have to take like that break of like being like, oh my gosh, is this the person of my dreams? Because we had to make sure it was like the right thing. Because sometimes we do get caught up in infatuations and we get caught up in like possibilities of these dreams and hopes and wishes. And I think during that time, I was able to get like spiritually, you know, in tune to really not just go off emotion, but to go off like a spiritual guidance. Like I really like pray and fasted and I was going to church and I was just like, you know, Something devastating happened to me. Like, I had a nice job that, you know, I got fired for, like, taking up the kids. So, I was going through all that stuff. It was just a lot that I was going through. And I was like, I didn't want me meeting him, him all in my ear, telling me all my dreams to kind of, like, is this this could be a trick. Because you just never know. Because people say stuff all the time. Yeah. So, I did definitely take that time to, like, kind of listen to God's voice and pray. And I remember one time, this was, like, in, so this is February, March, April, May. Because, like, by three months, 
we kind of gave each other a break. Like, we were still talking, of course, but like by May, that's when I told him, I was like, listen, I'm sorry, just keep shaking, y'all, I'm sorry. I was like, I heard God say, follow Kofi. That was not my voice, y'all. I was praying and I heard follow Kofi. So I told him, like, I don't know why I'm hearing this. I don't know what this is, but that's what, what I got. And I have been following him ever since and he has changed my life dramatically. So that's kind of where we are and how we kind of got started. Um, yeah, so from there, we just went on with our business. I was going back and forth to Ghana um by my third trip you propose or second third Ten. the third yeah. so the third time the third trip that's when he proposed to me at sun city on new year's eve and it was like so many people there and y'all know i like people here because i don't see y'all but it was so many people there and it was so nice and beautiful but i was just so like oh these people oh my gosh and that was yeah that was 2020 no that was a year after so we I, met no no so i think i yeah a year after we met so that means yeah that was a year after we met yeah so that so, means um that was a year after we met yeah. Yes. Yeah, and then so and from that time to yeah. So, yeah, so we've just been going back and forth, back and forth, yeah. and then in July 2021 is when we had got married. So we were going to do what a lot of people do, and I'm glad that we did not do it. We were just going to go to the courthouse and you know just get married, but his family and his mom and everybody was like, no way. So in six days they put together our ceremony and I just sat there and did nothing like they did everything in six days and if we would have really planned it it would have been bigger but so I'm glad that it kind of happened because in six days it was like a lot of people there yeah it was a lot of people yeah, there like almost 70 people, like almost 70 like people there I don't even it was a beautiful ceremony they treated me like a, a queen princess or whatever um it was his mom his aunties, his sisters, brother, uncles, daddy, everybody, the pastor, all the pastors, the people from the church, uh, his mom, friends, sister, friends, people from high school, with so many people there. So I'm glad that that happened because they feel like you get married, like it's not in their tradition to just go to the courthouse. Like that, that ain't serious. So I knew it was serious when they like, brought the jewelry like his mom got like was they were doing everything between you your mom your sisters yeah. everybody like right. i didn't do anything so i'm like oh this is serious so yeah so that kind of happened and basically i think that's it like i that's our story um yeah, i don't know if we, a beautiful story yeah i don't know if we have like any advice per se because it wasn't a formula right um, like what would you say I don't know. Uh, I think um, it, we see that it happened naturally because it was more how you know I'm 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 not good in giving advice. No 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 no. But I don't think there's any advice. Like I think that's the whole point. Like yeah. you can't just be. My thing is don't look for love. Like don't look for. Okay, maybe I do have an advice. I just feel like you got to be in alignment and it can't just be love like it got to be yeah. like what's your greater purpose in life like our marriage is about legacy building like we want to build for the next generation because our visions and we want to see this vision you know continue on way after we die so that's kind of how we think we think about what's the legacy what are we trying to change through us that can live on forever yeah. way after we're gone and that align with each other so we don't really we don't talk about like superficial stuff like my money your money is all like our the money he make and the money i make it like goes into the pot of our money um so that's like not a thing that we kind of talk about um like i don't i don't know like we're not looking for 
I don't I don't know. I just feel like that's the, what it is. We strand we stand on honesty and transparency. Like yeah. even if we mess up, I think I said this in another video, but like we always gotta just vow to just be honest and transparent yes. with, with one another. Um because if I mess up and I don't work, his vision don't come to fruition. If he mess up and it don't work out, like my vision don't come yeah. to fruition. Like our visions are definitely intertwined with each other. I feel like he need me just as much as I need him. And that's why our marriage is unique. Like we do business together. We do life together. Like we're best friends. Like we do everything together. So it's not like, even though I do say my phone, like this is my phone, right? But this is our house. This, you that's my water. <laughs> Because yeah. you like, this is our water. No. Mm -hmm. But this life is yeah. ours. Like, everything is intertwined. Like, yeah. so that's it. Yeah. I don't know, have no advice. Because people really be in our inboxes. Like, what? I'm so, it keeps shaking, y'all. Uh, I don't know. People be in our inboxes, like, asking us all this stuff. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. I can just tell y'all how I met, how we did it. But yeah. that's it. Um... I don't know if we'll make another part. Maybe we'll make a part three. We just, can make a part three. Yeah, going more into depth about like our now. But that's basically we just wanted to tell y'all like how if you have any questions, just ask us, I guess. Yeah. But that's just a fast version of kind of how we met to like how we started our relationship to like now we're right. here. Yeah. yeah. So anything you wanna say before we close out, my love? Oh, you said it's all, you know. What if I have to say, uh, she said it all. It's uh, the same thing as I'm Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, I did not come to Africa looking for no man. And he was not on tour looking for a wife. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you I'm laughing? Because some people be like, doing tours to look for wives. But <laughs> anyway. So, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please like this video and let us know. What do you think? What do you think about the Adoopsies? Yeah, guys. We love you guys. All right, bye. Bye.